Hello, I am Dominic Junta, and I am part of group option number four, which was the group that covered disability and film. The film we chose to show in class was The King's Speech, a 2010 film starring Colin Firth and Jeffrey Rush. Firth and Rush play King George VI and speech therapist Lionel Logue. The film, which went on to win the Academy Award for Best Picture and earned Firth a Best Actor Oscar, is an excellently made film. It is meticulous, well-directed, and rather accurate, while still maintaining a subtle sense of humor and great rapport among the leads. However, it epitomizes the two main points of contention for disability in film. Able-bodied actors portraying disabled actors and how disabilities are portrayed on film. On the one hand, able-bodied performers should not take priority over disabled actors. It's similar to the 1988 Gallaudet University Deaf President Now March in the sense that disabled actors should represent the disabled experience. Actor Brian Cranston once referred to his casting as a quadriplegic man in the film The Upside as a business decision that was open to criticism, which both critiques the mindset of Hollywood and seemingly reaffirms their standpoint. While it is nice for a well-known actor to make such a claim, it doesn't help much in the grand scheme of it all. Take, for example, three films that have been released this year, Honey Boy, The Peanut Butter Falcon, and Chained for Life. All feature disabled actors playing disabled roles, and all were critically lauded for it. If film producers want to make the smart business decision, perhaps they should look to these films for a little perspective. An A-list star isn't an explicit moneymaker anymore. Representation is important and is noticed by critics and award ceremonies. On the other hand, Colin Firth portrays King George VI, or Bertie, as he is called by his friends, in a realistic, grounded, and appealing manner. While both Colin and this film were recognized at the succeeding Academy Awards, the Academy hasn't always been known to be the best judge of proper characterization or representation. Upon release of the film, the British Stammering Association championed the film, congratulating the team on a realistic depiction of the frustration and fear of speaking faced by people who stammer on a daily basis. Firth is said to have struck the as the very authentic and accurate. An opinion shared by the Royal College of Speech and Language Therapists as well. In regards to the character, Bertie is not overly melodramatic to be a source of inspiration and wisdom, nor is Lionel looked to be a figure of incredible intellect. These men are not perfect, nor are they cookie-cutter characters written purely to win awards or blithely inspire. Rather, The King's Speech is a story of two men lost and troubled on their respective paths. Bertie is thrust into the public eye and must mold his life to suit his disability, and Logue is a failed actor who can finally make an impact with an audience, the audience in this case being Bertie. Director Tom Hooper crafted the film with the grace and debonair decorum we've come to expect from well-done period dramas such as this one, but utilizes striking recurring imagery that is frightening to Bertie and people with speech disabilities everywhere, like hanging the microphone above him in a threatening way during practice speeches or in front of him, like a large, all-consuming tar target reticle. This works very well with such a simple object. There is much to change in Hollywood. Our group has definitely learned that much. However true this may be, the King's Speech is a fantastic example of a proper disability portrayal as well as an expertly made disability film. All in all, I believe it is integral to the film industry to move forward with a better grasp on disability portrayal. There should be more, they should be written better, and they should be given a chance to shine. All of these artists have stories to tell and experiences to back them up. They should be given this. Stigmas always lessen the more an audience is exposed to something. Perhaps disability depiction is more important than some may think.